Welcome to the topic 1.4 Caveat on floating point representation In the series uh, 1 Frequently asked interview questions Before we proceed I uh, just want to remind you about our favorite channel Gan Ganga The uh, URL is uh, pretty easy to remember Gan Ganga for all This is how it looks like for now and if you wish to receive notifications on the upcoming videos please do subscribe right we'll proceed next so we'll just uh, do a recap of where we had left in our previous uh, session uh, we had uh, shown a code snippet for you to analyze uh, this was the one of the code snippet where uh, we have declared a variable of type float right uh, this uh, naming of this data type is uh, ironical because float in general represents the iterably floating point representation but in this case in the context of C float is a uh, float represents single position floating point number and double represent double position floating point number rather it would be it would have been nice if they had only named it as single anyway uh, f equal to 1.25 and we are doing a comparison here right and obviously you if you have typed this you would have got f is equal to float the next example same thing the number changes 1.2 if you have typed in you would have got f is not float so why is that at this point discrepancy in the output right uh, when we here we need to refer to the two standards we will see what it is if we have to compare the numbers we have to refer to the c standard what does c standard say when the number has to be compared here f is of type float and 1.25 is of type double right so now the comparison of two different data types again here the data type of 1.2 as it is if you just write it on a screen it is treated as double and this f i mean if you replace the value it is 1.2 the type of this uh, number here 1.2 will be float now what is the stand that c takes when comparison of course c will not compare uh, the values of two different data types it has to have uh, a sing a value of single data type so if we are not uh, uh, if we are not conscious enough to explicitly specify the type compiler will take its decision on the basis of the standard on the basis of what the constitution of c is written right and the output right how to compare is being defined by c the uh, the output is depending on the i triple e floating point representation it is one at another standard i triple e 754 floating point representation right uh, it would be better if you can uh, refer the series uh, 1729 section 1 to get more uh, understanding of i triple e floating point representation right we'll proceed now we will see what does c tells when it encounters uh, heterogeneous data types while comparing this is taken in, uh, from uh, the infamous uh, uh, author and founder of c cunning and richie uh, c programming language and you can also find this in the c11 standard any standard in fact for that matter it says if 
either operand is double the other is converted to double right so between float and double if there is a comparison if the user asks the uh, compiler to generate a code to compare uh, the values of two different data types the compiler will apply this clause the the one 1.25 or 1.2 is double then the other is considered as double we will see this here it is double and the compiler will treat this which the user has def uh, defined as float but the compiler for this comparison will treat this as double so what is the consequence we will see in this example i don't see there will be any consequence right you have 1.25 convert the integer part to of the real number to binary representation it's a straightforward thing now you convert the fraction part uh, of the real number to the binary representation with 23 bits uh, precision this fraction 0.25 can be represented in the binary representation we had already discussed in the other series that not all real numbers can be represented in the binary form so 0.25 is one of the real number that can be represented uh, correctly accurately in binary form hence when you collate both integer part and fraction part we get this and when you apply the i triple e floating point representation when you normalize this uh, uh, fixed point representation to floating point representation we get this right for more uh, clarity on this format please refer 1729 series can one you get much much more clarity on this representation right this is a single position representation where the fraction part is 23 bits exponent is 8 bits and the one sign bit next double position of 1.25 not much difference since it can be represented the remaining all 50 bits will be zero and collating the number you get this and except for this extended zeros not much difference with single position and double position representation of 0.25 when you compare you are comparing like this the single position uh, number would get extended to uh, the, the double position width and when you compare it is equal that's why we saw uh, in the code snippet if you had typed in and compiled and uh, linked and executed you would have got it is equal now the a more interesting example is the second problem here we are now comparing the float 1.2 to double 1.2 the compiler based on its uh, uh, the standard it will convert this number 1.2 to double and they uh, the result uh, here you would have got this and we will see why the result is determined by the ieee 754 standard and uh, the means of comparison is defined by the c11 standard okay uh, the conversion of integer part is one the conversion of fraction point 0 0.2 0 0.2 unlike 0.25 cannot be represented as is in the binary form hence we take an approximation approximation to the width of 23 bits right when we collate we get this when we normalize we get this 0.2 this number is not exactly 0.2 but very near to 0.2 double position again this is the 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 mantis of width is extended to 50 
two bits. This number is not exactly 0.2, but very close to 0.2 compared to the single position. Right? Once again, if you want to see, if you want to get a feel for what is this, refer to 1729 series where you have, you will get the um, exact clarity what you require to understand this. Collating both, we get this uh, number and finally normalizing this number, we get this with exponent uh, uh, being 11 bits and 52 bits of Matisa. You see this number is not exactly 0.2 but very closer to 0.2 compared to the single position. Now when we compare what we get as usual the single position number is converted to double that means you get in sign you get the uh, extension of this uh, uh, Mantisa right the remaining 29 bits will be extended as zero, zero extension. But here you get a, uh, a number as is with double precision uh, representation, right? When the compiler does, when the processor does a bitwise comparison, obviously it is not equal. Hence you would have got the number is not equal, right? This is where, as a programmer, you need to be very careful when you compare two values of different data types. Hence, it is always better, a good practice to explicitly specify the type. Don't leave it to the compiler's decision. It can prove detrimental in a fairly big and complex project, right? What next, right? Can you solve this? Can you analyze this? Very simple uh, code snippet. Print, analyze the fault if there is any. I am invoking a function, the function does just uh, declaring an array of three integers assigning value to a of three the if you declare array of integers three the index will be zero one two and you are assigning or this program is assigning to three what happens right okay I'll do the compilation for you. GCC minus F no stack protector. Build your program, execute, you get sec fault. For now, don't worry about this option. I was forced to give this option for us to analyze the uh, stack frame. But I will leave it for you to uh, ponder on why we got segmentation fault, right? On the contrary, I have an example here. Just move the declaration above the function, build the program and execute. You will not see any error or no segmentation fault. What is that causing sec fault? When I declare an array within a function, what is that not causing the segmentation fault when I move it to the uh, outside of the function, right? This is where we stress more on understanding the execution environment. It is more important for a uh, programmer to have a thorough understanding of the execution environment so that he or she can write a more mature code right ponder about this ponder about this till we come back to you in the next section next session 
will be more interesting to understand to analyze uh, uh, the behavior of this code versus this code to get more information on the OS where uh, I, I have written this code and built this is what it is Ubuntu 16.04 32-bit OS and this is the GCC version where I have compiled and linked this is a tool which I have used for you to get clarity on what we are doing right reference for this video to get more clarity on floating point representation we have series 1729 section 1 on floating point representation a thorough understanding of this topic thorough discussion of this topic is being presented there please have a look at that on your favorite channel Gyan Ganga. Till we uh, come back to you on the next session, take care and bye bye.